Sir, if you could especially address this aspect of how sports law and competition law are like intertwined, um, I think that would be like really, uh, that is something that I would want to know. See, the sports law and the competition, yeah, the sports law and competition law is, I uh, has heard this question for a long period of time, like whenever I go, yeah, people also get this concern about this part, like the competition law and sports law. No doubt, competition law and sports law plays a very vital because within a sports, it's wherever the sports come, competition comes in together. But you know, there was a case in India, like in competition law itself, there are many cases in India is going on, like All India Chase Federation is there, right? Then uh, the Wrestling Federation is there, right? In Wrestling Federation, competition goes in certain way, you know, like Wrestling Federation, which is in case, famous very famous case. So it happened like he used to do practice in different phase, different, you know, all. Everyone has seen this. Kilo, like, everyone has seen this Olympic, and they have seen 65 kilos, 55 kilos, 70 kilos, 80 kilos, right? So in wrestling, there is a rule that uh, if you are 65 kilos, right, you can't go for the lower category, but you have to can go for the upper category, right? 70, 75, and all. So in competition, at least you can see the things which is the the using of the domain position is also there, right? important prospect in the competition, right? So what happened, Shushil Singh went for, like, asked this wrestling federation that he want to practice for the upper division. You're getting my point. Okay. So it's the competition, I yes. want to go to the upper division. Now the wrestling federation, they says, like, sorry, you can't, because from the beginning itself, so when, which division you went to, he was pursuing for, he was pursuing for 75 kilos and 70 kilos, being aware of 65 kilos. That time, Shushil Singh was not Shushil Singh, right? The bronze medal issues is I'm talking about, right? That time he was a national. Player. So you can see how this competition prospect need to also develop in the phase of sports law, also, right? You're getting my point. Yes, so sir. certain period of time, like you have to mix it in India. The problem is we don't have a proper act of sports act, right? You will find this sports act many in many parts of the world. You're getting my point. Yeah. Yes, yes. Uh, and but in India, we don't have this type of thing. Even like in competitive phase, like if you see different another prospect, like salad in UK, not in like UK, in EU 156. And all like they have some articles which says like there should be equal uh, treatment for the both female and male, right? But in, in, in specifically not, I will not say India, right? India, in some countries, right? Asia prospect also. So in some countries of Asia prospect also, you see like where they are still now, the female and male that does not consider safe. Right. Even now, so the, another aspect that we can usually notice is so if you have any problems with respect to the one of the cases that you mentioned, for example, the uh, the the medal gold and the medalist case that you me mentioned right now. So if you have any dispute, you have to again go approach the same associations, and that goes against uh, the rule of law that uh, the, you should have an impartial arbitrator to, you know, deal with your case. So we don't have any, you know, right. arbitrators, See. neither the court, uh, uh, the courts that can deal with any of these. So cases. Will, because so if you again approach the same association. Right. See, now I will say here one thing, one specific thing I will, take, I will talk to you, which is, see, in India, we have another problem, which is a governing ruling body. We have three ruling bodies in such, right? IOC, NSF, SAI. Right, we say these are the top most. Now, let me take you one part in this. There was a case, right, which was between Union of India versus Indian Olympic Committee, and the question arise was something which is something coming from the Article 12 of the Indian Constitution. That right? the state, BCCI is whether the state or not. Everyone knows this case, and that is we say in the India we say this is something it's a Magna Carta of Indian sports, right? We started for something, then why the question arises that there was a question like it's representing India being a private body, but how? Right. Exactly. Now, if I take you to another part, in this case, IOC versus Union of India, 9th May, right? Night was happening in 9th May 2020. I think it's a very recent case. I'm, maybe I'm wrong in the year, but the, I am sure in the month, 9th May. So it happened in that case, there was a question arise like whether IOC is a topmost elite body or not. You're getting my point. Is a top most elite body or not? And if it's an elite body, who will consider as elite body? Because we know NSF is creating sporting body, like they're making the rules, right? We have and still they made a rule which is regarding the age fraud. And after Ghana, India is the second country to make this age fraud thing. Then again, like this question. So this question. So if NSF is making the rule, then IOC is there. Then SAI is creating players, and we SAI represent the SAI is the main thing. 
so who will be consider the stop so this case arise then this case itself there is a point came that ioc has established themselves in india and the society act yeah. like same with bcc had done but bcc is the madras act madras society and this is the society act so the question arise like it's, it's a society act then how will you consider this as a top post body you all have seen this olympic and you have seen one thing like when russia was banned russia is banned for certain period of time from olympic right we all know that and why was that what i know now the reason russia was banned and that is the reason our roc was there yeah you're getting my for roc russian olympic committee right so same thing is indian olympic committee now it means what you were getting this from this one that if a, you are if you are not presenting your country is not representing athletes then the russian or this olympic committee can represent that same athlete from that board you are getting my point so if this thing is happening the roc russia body has been russian athlete represented by the roc it means like roc has a better platform right is in the high ioc in the top post platform than the country itself and you know like just like united nation in international olympic Committee, association itself is a big organization and that's the reason we say rule right rule just not someone i think someone asked question is rule 50 mm -hmm. and also that's why we say rule 50 rule 30 something like right that so we don't say let's like olympic charters we say we don't say like articles and all right because itself is a big organization we saw olympic has started from the beginning of the when human was not there olympic was there we say something like that and no like we for us something people say that 356 bc bc means before christ before christ was born olympic was jesus christ was olympic was there so you can understand what is the where the olympic came from that is the reason we always call it the top of pirate but you coming to india is something like you have saying like if you're in india you have to set up with the Olympic chart. I mean, society and not the Olympic charters. So in India, you are saying like Olympic organization, Olympic committee is lower section than the India itself. Mm -hmm. Right. So it is something which is a happen. It's like, you know, like in the India, we say there's a food, we say khichri. Right. Or you can say chowmin. It's chowmin. No egg and all everything we have to find out. And also in India, it's like something like mixed up or everything. You're getting my point. And yeah, someone I just seen someone asked a question. I'm sorry, uh, Joel, if I am taking you can yes, sir, yeah, all I think I would like, like to address that particular question by one of the audience. This rule 50. Yeah. This rule 50 of Olympic protest rule. So see, my take is rule 50 Olympic protest rule, you know, like it started from the beginning with these black life matters and all everything happened. Right? Yeah. So this is not a place where we will be like, you know, where you will put your protest against this type of thing, right? Any type of discrimination or something like any type of discrimination, right? National, it means to say that this type, anything, this type of, if you're representing this fact, it is something like a political aspect is coming out, right? Social and political aspect is coming out which, and which can bring a discrimination within everyone. You're getting my point. With yeah. everyone, I want to say they within, within the athletes. But recently, if you remember, the China athletes, they were the batch of Mao right in the in the truck should when they having the medal remember that sin and they have been then then ioc has now went for the inspection the why why no one has seen that hmm. you're getting my point so now if we see that see we say china but the real name of china is republic of people okay. of china right PRC, yeah. the republic people of china it's a it's a communist country they were not going for the political thing we are not going to political thinking of that. So we're taking this whole aspect. But here we have to put certain things in mind. Like I was also in like when they asked like for the investigation and all inspection and all. So I was in the question. That I was also thinking why are they asking for wearing the badge of Mao? Because for Republic people of China, Mao is not a political figure. Right? Oh, huh. Mao is the father of the nation. Yeah. For them. And what the athletes has done, they just own this badge of the father of the nation. Right. So why you are taking that also consideration? It means today to like uh, yesterday, if our uh, javelin thrower, he is now famous like Chopra, Mr. Chopra. Yeah, yesterday he Chopra. also was a, a badge of our father of nation, Gandhi. Huh. Right. Just for the representative Indian people, it means it's father of the nation. And if I wear his badge, it will be represented all, all the population, billion of the population. Right. So he was wearing badge. It means like then again, you will put the same inspection on him also. So 
I think somewhere like the people who put the English, I am see, I am a good person. I'm not a big like Olympic committee. But if you say my take on these views, that this is my view, like somewhere wearing a mouth, the Chinese people are wearing the father of the nation. It means like they have a flag and the father of the nation or a character, particular father who he says, just a representation of the full people, a billion of people. Hmm. Right. So, right. I think the the benchmark over there might like. I I know this might be a little bit political, but then the benchmark is that Gandhi is a lot more recognized character throughout the world might be, and maybe Mao is kind of like in today's context is kind of like the violent person. So that's the reason why they may not really consider. Uh, that's why the committee must have gone hard on that. No, Mao is also very famous. Like Mao Zong is very famous character also. Like wherever you study about the communism, Chinese food, or some Marxism, from Karl Marx. Lenin, Stalin, you have to study about the Mao and why Mao, Mao principle something different and China is developed through Mao. You're getting my point. Yeah. Marx, Marxism and Maoism. These are two words. In communism, there is two words, Marxism and Maoism. Maoism is something to believe from Mao. That's a political aspect. But we are not taking a political aspect. They were this much in basic belief of the father of the nation, which is a very different aspect of the political thought. Hmm. Right. And so this is something we need to take on. Right. Okay. See, this is this is we need to like they need to think before that. Like investigation, asking for the investigation, the political aspect. Okay, but if we are asking for that, if we are wearing a badge and he's a father of the nation, they need to put this implement also in their mind. Like, why you have owned this badge? Are you trying to present your father of the nation like you were the father of the nation as a billion? Of so you have to take this consideration also. Okay. So I think uh, there is this one pertinent question which several law students also might have since they are considering diff- different career options as such. Uh, like since you are one of the earlier earliest person to choose sports law and especially venture into that particular field, uh, could you shed light on 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 what on how should a student particularly prepare for the the area as such with especially with those who have very minimal experience to even or or even just basic reading about the about sport about their interest in sport itself how can they develop that and also what are the different options available to them according to your experience as well if you could just shed a light on that like uh, most of my like uh, school all same thing like wherever I go this I'm listening to this question like so how we can go for this post law prospect what the thing of this post law prospect and all Right. So with this prospect, we will say like it's a now the thing which is going on, right? The way it's going on nowadays is very competitive. Right. See when Nandan Kamatsar was there, he was a single person at that time. Right. Then comes the Bijut for Singhani Asar and Ahala Malutra. They are in the second generation, we say like that, you know, like uh, we have to think on like this. So in that time when they were there, there was a competition, but that type of competition now in India, we see like most of the students are going for sports law. It's something, see, I am like, like, I am not buttering thing. I will not say any like sweet thing, like sweet. I will be not be a sweet tooth here. I will be using the real, like real thing. I will just bring you the real thing as a practical aspect, right? So even when me and some of my friends, they went for studying sports law, I still remember my Northern friend, we were somewhere, three students were there from India, right, being, uh, and we were that time, like, just to say, yes, sir, and if they was, if they be considered themselves a third generation, then we will the fourth generation, right, so that time itself, it's in that class of something around 25 students, 20, uh, not 20 to 25 students, right? There are something around three, three Indians are already there. You are getting my point. So now, if you, now it's already there. Now, and they all are well settled. Now. They all are well settled because at least we are the fourth generation. But by that time, we passed out. Another batch intake happened. Yeah. Now, when this another batch intake happened, it means there will be the fifth generation. And now, yeah. some I just now I. Here for some of my uh, students and like, uh, sir, uh, I already got admission for this day, but I am in third year. So they have already taken me for 2023. Some are saying that they already taken me for 2022, being sitting in 2021. Hmm. Then the question, then I asked the question like, so what do you think after this? See, they are, the, you all are like, young, you all are like my brothers, right? So you all have been sitting in a classroom, you all have a dream to become a host of 
everyone want to try to become host celebrities right so whenever i ask someone what you want to become they say like sir i want to become a agent now let me take you one another thing for coming to the prospect this they say there is two prospect which you need to be considered as yeah, sports law and sports lawyer and agent are totally different field two different field yeah if you are studying sports law it can be a very helpful for you to become agent right because you having the knowledge of patent and all the contract patent and all contract mean i am not talking about the any minor contract act something like that this na some one else the contract the minor contract and all right in years and all in fifa or some way olympic or some way formula one this indian contract or state contract does not go on like that the contract which goes on you have to follow the rstp right it's a regulatory statutory transfer of player the name is the rstp why is that i will say you also for the like to ask you if you don't ask me i will not say you that okay. sorry, sorry, sorry. so <laughs> so so you will have a knowledge of that whether in management you go like manage managing things so like okay to be have to go for advertisement there this other thing which you can manage right so now you know like certain oh we have 10 minutes left so yeah you know so you have to be fast so yeah it's so certain prospect if you see as well it's happening something like that like in european country i'm telling you about like in uk you mm-hmm. can get a license for a i mean this agent a license for a agent in 10 minutes just for apply you will get it okay right and in certain like in europe and everything like in european continent you in for example italy in italy or in certain like japan and all like if you are going for this european eu policies if i want to become an agent then you have to be fast i mean you have not be fast i want to say that you have to be act fast and because it take a long period of time somewhere like one to two months and then if you are a lawyer practicing lawyer you have to revoke your license you have to give back your license then only you can become an agent so agent and a lawyer is totally different prospect two different field so you have to first choose on that hmm. now when you are thinking of the now you are going for a student who is studying for this post law fact So when so well, you are now in second year, by that time you will I mean sorry third year. Yeah. So sorry for that. No no third year. So by that by that time you will be studying sports law. You are getting my point. Yeah. So you will be something around eight ten generation, and it is something like same thing which happened to in my time. Something which was something corporate law was new in the field, and everyone was studying corporate law, and we make it too much mainstream. And what happening nowadays? Like if you are studying corporate law, you are not you are not getting a proper field. Okay. Yeah, some people are getting proper field, but who are those people are getting proper? Who are the competitive one? I mean, the survival of the fittest. For example, today tomorrow you are going to some X Y Z universe. Okay, then you are in this. Uh, there is something like fifty students. Okay, for example, our university there is also in Barcelona, also in Madrid, also in uh, I say in Berlin. Okay, I'm giving the example. Same institute. So each this same institute they have fifty batches. Now in this fifty batches. Each batch has fifty student. I mean, fifty students. So fifty into three, one fifty, right? So how many of you will get the job? Hmm. How many of you will get the internship? Right? Student get only your student, like your college have one fifty student. Other college also having a twenty student. So one seventy. But in if you're taking at the same this fact that there are certain clubs are there. So how many clubs give you the pay? Give you the good pay which you need after spending too much for a course. Right. So in that case, you have to be the survivor of the fittest. And even I say to my students also, like if you are in the top, if you are twenty-five students there, so our time it was little though it was a little bit easy and all, but now so many people are going on. So you have to be in top five. So get secure a job and an internship. So this is how it goes on. Right. I have a small question for you. I I hope I'm not good. Yeah. 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 Yes. Uh, so, so uh, since you brought up corporate law, uh, why don't you think that sports law is still a part of the main curriculum, pertaining to the fact that you said that it has gained such a momentum in like you know the previous years? But we see that you know if someone wants to pursue sports law, they like most of the time they are not studying that in India. They usually prefer it abroad. So, why do you think it's not a part of the mainstream education, uh, like in law schools? uh so i will miss saying i will take this one thing here that like, uh, it's in certain colleges they are in mainstream but the students are not taking for example jnl 
Gujarat National University. It has LLM in sports club, but in India, we have a very wrong concept and very wrong concept, which is what is that? Like you have minimum student in UK. If you are a single student studying for that course, they will be providing you the same course, right? But in India, you have to bring a minimum seven students. Also. <laughs> so it happened. I went to that university to study. There was a course which is known as United Nations laws, right? Missing. So when I went to study that law, the first after first see in UK in European country, I'm not say UK, UK and Europe after Brexit. So they have a thing like if if a single student you will, you will be considered and the first from the first semester itself they will be teaching you the sports law itself. But in India, in first semester they will teach you research methodology. Then this uh, small small uh, like common subject oh. which you already studied in the first year of your course. Then okay. in second semester they will come to your course. Now when they taught me first semester, there was like same thing happened with me like straw and all like X Y Z courses were there. Then when I came to the second thing, they asked they called me and they, after they called me in vice like the director room they asked me see you are a single student for this course so we can't you will be we can't provide you with this course. And I was in question, sir, why? Because I came to study this course only. There was actually, there was like the five students, we need minimum five students to start this course and you are the single student. So you need to, like you need to get up from, like you have to offer a different course. Mm -hmm. And then with no choice in another course, like yeah, energy law is another part which she has a very, it's another niche area, but but that is for me now it's just something like in the dust in the Alvira itself. That degree is in the Alvira itself. That is no like you can I'm not working in that itself. Yeah, I get got knowledge. Yeah, at the end of the knowledge is so much people should work on. But yeah, but then it's happened like I walk, I went, why I went there for studying sports law? I mean in international law, because I have a concept, I have a like I want to know how I can implement WTO rules, United Nations rules in sports law, the servicing rules, the four board of service rules in sports law, so I can start in India, but something different happened. So this is something that, yeah, there is colleges we, which have in prospect and mainstream, GNLU, even in Jindal, they have that sports law, right? But students are not there, but now coming to the another side, another side of the See, in India, how many professors you will find you have a degree in sports law? This is another question. Hmm. I think uh, if we're taking for the senior level, Professor Sean Star sir is there, right? Uh, Tarun Singh sir is there. There is one professor in I I I am Bangalore, right? Nishant Shokan. Right? These are my friends because I know them the way because they all in the sports. It's a very small field here. Then me, then Apu Vijha, Miss Apu Vijha is there. Who are in now in the academic field? So in all over India, searching and all your five, five. Okay. right? Who have the proper degree of sports law? And now most of the faculties we have found that like in different universities, they are like, oh, I know sports law. So when I talk with them, they say, oh, yeah, when I know sports law, like, how? They say like, I have read that book, and I say which book? They were like, I have read this sir Vithu Prasinyanias's book, which I have written with Nikhil Mukherjee. Or I have written Lovely Das Gupta Ma'am's book and I come to class and just dictate from that book. And I was like, sir, if you are dictating for ma'am, you are dictating from that book, then what is the reason to taking this course? Even the student can come to the class and or why the student need to come to the class? They can also go to the, like, they can also go to some place in the home itself. They can sit in the home itself, just with the attendance. They can also read that book. The same thing what you are doing. It's not a bedtime story you are telling to them. Like, okay, today we will say Cinderella went to UFA, but Cinderella's contract was over. It's nothing like that. It's something like we need to draw the boss man free, trade, uh, free movement rules and all. So how you can, then when I say the boss man, that's the same XYZ person was something like, boss man, who is that? So this is, this is something. The fundamental really, is like, not there. So yes, and. Even this makes me question like if you are saying like you are teaching diploma sports law or a certain course of sports law and you don't, you still don't know what is boss man. And you are saying something regarding contract, you are saying something about the free movement of player. That's how you are, how you are doing that. See, everything is not, sports law is a very big subject. It's nothing like a very world huge subject. You started from that. Right. But you, are, you even don't know what is boss man. 
this current episode the full length will be available on youtube and also you will be able to find the latest updates about this session as well on instagram and other platforms as well so do like share and subscribe to our channel on youtube and also follow our instagram page with regard to regular updates as well